Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today I'd like to continue our discussion on different types of dynamic models and more specifically talk a little bit about how to translate between state space, transfer function, and ODE models. So this is actually going to be a really quick short discussion because we covered a lot of these topics in other videos and what I want to do today is just provide a very quick overview and sort of roadmap of how to move between these different models. So first let's talk about the different models, right? So at the very top, remember we started our discussion talking about how a lot of dynamic systems are modeled using ordinary differential equations and if you had a nice linear ordinary differential equation it would take that form as you can kind of see in that top box and again we covered this topic extensively in these following two videos Next, after that, we also looked at how you could then rewrite some of these ordinary different linear ordinary differential equations in a sort of first order coupled format in matrix and vector notation, which really led to this concept of a state space representation that you see down here in this bottom corner. And again, we covered this discussion in a dedicated video on state space representations. And then the or other day, we also looked at how you could basically generate what's called a transfer function model from these ordinary differential equations. And again, that was covered in a dedicated video. And that makes up the bottom of that uh, sort of triangle pyramid here of these three different types of models. Now, what gets interesting is also we talked about um, well, maybe we didn't talk explicitly about it, but that's what I want to talk about today is, well, what if you had one or more of these models and you wanted to translate or convert one to the other or vice versa or things like that? So maybe the first easiest thing to do is um, let's talk about going from an ordinary differential equation down to a state space represent, or sorry, uh, down to a transfer function representation, right? So that's going sort of in this direction, right? So that we saw was actually pretty darn easy. The way that this happened was this is basically using a Laplace transform. And again, um, I am going to refer you to a dedicated video we had on the Laplace transform. And we saw that the way this happens is you're basically doing the Laplace transform of this ordinary differential equation and using the differentiation rule in the Laplace transform, you can basically turn this linear ordinary differential equation into a transfer function. Okay. So again, feel free to check out that video um, over there if you would like information about going in this direction. Then what else did we talk about? Well, how about if you had an ordinary differential equation and you wanted to get down to a state space? So that's kind of moving in this direction, right? And we saw that this really is just involved using um, matrices and vectors and basically writing this in first order form, okay? And again, we had a video. In fact, this was part of the state space video. And in fact, I'll flash up the timestamp exactly uh, where we covered this part of the translation. So we saw that this is how you can go from an ODE down to a state space, right? Then we had other videos discussing, well, how about if you wanted to go from a state space representation to a transfer function, right? So this is sometimes referred to as the, uh, I'm going to call it the SS2TF to use MATLAB notation because we had a discussion, again, here's the associated video covering this direction, where we showed how to take a state space representation, go to a transfer function, and MATLAB provides some tools to do that, right? Also, you could go in the opposite direction. What if you had a transfer function and wanted to realize a state space representation? So let's go the other way, okay? So this is basically writing it in different sort of canonical forms, right? And again, we had a dedicated video going from transfer function to state space representation. And you saw that you can use controllable canonical form, control canonical form, observable canonical forms. There's different ways that you can realize a state space representation if someone hands you a transfer function. So this is sort of the roadmap you can see. And again, like I said, this is going to be a short discussion today because all I wanted to do was just basically um, tie all of these ideas together and see how that they all how they all work together, right? Because We've looked at all of these in sort of a vacuum, and now we're starting to see the larger picture of how these different models play in uh, with one another. And so sometimes it's helpful to use a transfer function. Sometimes it's helpful to use a state space. All of these different models have pros and cons, but now we also have tooling and mechanisms to go from one to the other and translate back and forth. So it brings a lot of power and flexibility to the way you want to model and analyze some of your dynamic systems. So. 
With that being said, I think this is probably a good spot to leave it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if so, I also hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. If you just scroll a little ways down and click on that subscribe button, it really does help me make these videos. And uh, remember, the new videos come out every Monday, so I hope I'll catch you at a future discussion and we can all learn something new together. So until then, I'll talk to you later. Bye.